Hi my dear agents, welcome back to day 5 of our AI agent journey. Today we are diving into something super cool. Actually very important if you want to understand how AI agent thinks and how it gets things done. We are going to talk about two things today. Test time compute, this is all about uh, model thinking before answering. And the second part is function calling which is how the model uses external tools to get the job done. So yeah, this is basically about how AI uses its brain and how it uses external apps to get the job done. Let's break it down. So imagine you ask a chat GPT a question like what is the square root of 3249 plus 27 divided by 3. Now one option is the model just gives a random guess and spits out the answer. But a better model like GPT-4 will actually slow down the process and think step by step before giving us an answer. So it might think like this, hmm, square root of 3249 will be 57, 57 plus 27 will be 84 and 84 divided by 3 that's 28 so the final answer will be 28. So instead of giving something out it takes a second pauses and thinks step by step and finally gives the answer. So here the whole idea is called test time compute. You can think of it like AI is taking a deep breath before giving the final answer. Now let's make it even relatable. Let's say our brain has two systems. System one is fast and automatic so for suppose if I ask you what is 2 plus 2 you instantly say the answer is 4. And the system 2 is slow and logical. So if I ask what is 17 multiplied by 9 divided by 3, then you probably pause and calculate it step by step. So the second part is slow and thinks deliberately before giving an answer. So this is we can call it as test time compute for AI. Okay, when do we actually use this kind of deep thinking from AI? It's super helpful when we solve math problems, writing or debugging code, answering science questions and doing logic based reasoning. But it's not great for stuff like creative writing, brainstorming ideas, writing blog posts or poems. Why not? Because in those tasks, there's no right answer. Creativity is subjective. You want speed, not slow and logical thinking. Now let's talk about function calling. This one is really important if you are into building AI agents. So imagine AI is smart but it cannot handle whatever we throw on it. For example, it knows what a calculator is but it's bad at actual math. It can describe an image but can't draw one by itself. It knows about weather but can't check today's weather life. So what we do? We give the AI tools just like we give apps to our smartphones. The whole idea is called function calling. Think about our phone. By itself, it's just a blank screen. But when we open the calculator app, it can do math. If we open camera, we can take pictures and we can shoot videos. If we use Google Maps, it can navigate wherever we want to go. Same thing with the AI model. By connecting it to external tools, we can make it do things that it normally can't. Let me give you a quick example. If we combine LLM and calculator, if we ask what is 88 multiplied by 88 divided by 2, instead of guessing the model goes, let me call my calculator tool, it runs the math and gets the answer. If we combine LLM and image generator and ask draw a robot on the moon, the model can't draw by itself but it knows how to call a tool like DALI or stable diffusion. So it asks the image tool and creates an image for us. Now if we combine LLM and web browser and if we ask any live weather to it, it searches the web and gives us the live weather. Now here's where it gets really interesting. If we are building AI agents, we are actually combining both test time compute and function calling. Like the LLM is the brain, it can think deeply if needed. The tools are like apps, the brain uses them when it needs help. So when a user asks, can you schedule a meeting with my manager and send them an email? Now the AI agent will think like what's the user asking and plans. I need the calendar and email tools and it also acts like calling function to open the calendar and book the meeting and send them an email. So this is the workflow of the user's requirement. One thing we have to remember is test time compute is very useful but if we use it in a correct way because it's slower and it's more expensive because it uses more tokens. If you want to know more about tokens, I already talked about these tokens in our previous videos. Please go and check our previous videos. You will get more idea about these tokens. So if you are building a real time chatbot, uh, maybe skip test time compute because it's slow. We do not need any logical thinking or reasoning for a chatbot. We need just instant replies. But if you are using something related to backend, then we have to definitely use this because it requires reasoning and logical thinking. So that is all about test time compute and function calling. We have to use test time compute in a correct way so that we can get most out of it. And also most importantly, we'll save some money if we know how to use it well. So that's it for day five. If you find this video helpful, please like and share it to your friends. And if you don't want to miss our future videos, subscribe. See you on day six.